Hey y'all, it's me. Chris is on the boat with my sister and her kids, and I'm gonna throw something together for lunch before they get back. He only had four life jackets, so I couldn't go. Um, y'all haven't got to see my sister. She's been visiting this week, so if you've noticed, we're a little slower. Uh, the last five or four days, that's because we are having fun together. So we're gonna get started on this. The first thing I'm gonna do is start browning the ground beef. The other day, I did go to Aldi, and I got 90% uh, uh, beef, I'll show it to y'all. This is Aldi, 90% lean, 10% fat. So I'm gonna start browning this while we cut up and chop up our peppers and onion, okay? So when I do this, you can throw it in here and use a hamburger separator and that way you don't have to touch it. So we're gonna beat this up a little bit and let it start browning while we cut up our onion and peppers. I actually, normally this recipe is in my cookbook, it's in the volume two. And normally I would bake this for an hour in the oven, but I just happened to have some rice that I had left over and um, I thought it would be good Excuse me, that's loud. I thought it'd be good today to use the rice in this dish since it's already um, good. See it? I put it in a baggie the other day. And I am using bagged cheese, and some of y'all get on to me for it, but I don't care. I don't care about how it's packaged. I don't care that it has something on it to keep it from sticking together doesn't bother me a bit. I'm just not a worry wart when st about stuff like that. So y'all just have to watch me and take it, take me as you get it because I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook like mama cooked. I'm gonna cook like I cook and I'm not worried about, um, you know, what people say about me touching my meat or I'm not going to put on gloves. It was funny the other day, Chris said, I said that the one of the things I do that drives people craziest is I use my hands. I said, for some reason, they don't mind you using your hands with biscuits, but if you want to use your hands and meat or anything else, they just go crazy, like you can't wash them. And uh, he said, well, you know, a lot of people do wear gloves. I said, did your mama wear gloves? He said, well, no. I said, well, neither did mine. Mine didn't even have measuring cups and scoops. She used a teacup, so um, I'm not too worried about stuff like that because I'm teaching you how to cook like mama did, not how to cook like you work in a restaurant, okay? So with that said, we're gonna start chopping up some peppers and onion, and um, right here on the countertop. I don't know why it's taking that forever to get warm, but it is, ain't it? Y'all know me, I like to cook on high. So I always cut the end off my onion. I flip it up, cut one side flat first. That's the first thing I do. And then I go around the top and I peel off the outer layer. And yes, you can use the outer layer and some people do. And I do if I'm making roast and stuff like that. But I don't know, I always just take it off and that way I don't have to worry about it being dirty. How sad. I do it because mama did it. So there's my onion. You can leave the root side on. Now I'm not a chef and I haven't been to school uh, on culinary skills, but this is just the way I do it, okay? So I take my knife and I slice the onion this direction, leaving that attached on the back so that it holds together easier. Let me zoom y'all in a little bit. So y'all get some close-up action. Then I'll zoom you back out. So I, I make those cuts and then I just go down and that's how I slice up my onion. Pretty simple. Now my beef's starting to sound like it's cooking. Now we shouldn't have a lot of oil in this beef because it's 90% lean. And so, um, hopefully, I won't have to do a lot of draining with it. 
That's what I'm hoping for. I'm going to throw all this in my sink. It's so nice having a garbage disposal. I am loving it. But my sister did tell me that um, she had somebody come in to service hers before, and they said that potato peels do damage them more than people realize they do. He said potato peels and, I believe he said rice, uh, really messes them up. So... Now, I got these little sweet peppers the other day. I love these. Uh, I don't buy them unless they're on sale or unless they're as cheap as buying colored bell pepper. When I went to Aldi, I stocked up on all kinds of veggies because they have great prices on vegetables. So I got to get my sweet peppers instead of just regular bell pepper, and I was excited about that because I just hate to buy them when they're full price, when they cost so much in the regular grocery store. I am loving this house. I am loving this area. Y'all have no idea how much. I love it mainly, and this sounds crazy, but I love the birds here. I have had so much fun looking at all the different birds in our area. We are in St. Mary's, Georgia, and right now there's a few out there that have the longest beaks, and they're so pretty. Um, and we're just having a lot of fun let me make sure I, I've got y'all got me in the in the view here. But they are the prettiest birds, and they have the craziest looking beaks. And I may do a little clip on all the wildlife I've seen since we've been here, and put it on Colored Valley Cooks. I know it's not cooking, um, but you know you can see stuff like that on our personal channels. We have a Real Southern Woman channel. That's my channel, and Chris has. Nichols Retirement Empire, and oh my gosh, I've caught a baby turtle and got to play with it. Um, we've seen snakes, we've seen skinks, we've seen, it's just fun down here. I love it. If I had grown up down here, I would have been in love as a kid. They probably don't even pay all that attention because they're used to it, but boy, do I love it. So we're going to put this together. Like I said, this recipe is my Texas hash recipe. It is in the Volume 2 cookbook. And typically, I put about a cup and a half of water in it uh, with rice that's not even cooked, and we bake it in the oven for an hour. But today, I'm doing it on the stovetop uh, so that when they get off the boat, they'll have something good to eat because they... Um, you know what? I just thought of... Well, I think my daughter might have missed an appointment today. I was just thinking of that. Don't you just hate it when stuff like that crosses your mind? But maybe it wasn't today. I don't know. But you know she's grown now. She's 18. So if she missed it, she can pay for it with her allowance. <laughs> oh, Lord. Because they make you pay $75 if you miss an appointment. That's crazy, ain't it? But they do. All right, there we go. I know it's probably blurrier. Chris does not like for me to zoom in when we're live. He says it really messes with the quality of the video. So let's get this in the skillet with my bait. We'll start stirring it up. There's the pepper. Wait a minute, some of my onions kind of big, so I want to chop it up just a little bit better. The edges of it. Since kids are eating this, I want them to be smaller. I don't want any real big pieces in there. All right. If you are new to Colored Valley Coops, this channel is all about learning to cook like Mama did. So I don't have everything prepped and ready when I cook because my mama never did. My mother was about the most disorganized person on the face of the planet. <laughs> but boy, she could cook. So funny how um, everybody's different, you know. Everybody's cooking style is different. 
But believe it or not, I have so many people tell me that I really do cook like their mama did. And that is such a blessing to me. All right, we're going to chop this up with my chopper. And now those onions and peppers will get in there. This is uh, a leaner beef, so I'm hoping I don't have to drain it. And if I do, it won't be a much. I don't, I don't even see much grease in the bottom of this pan. See, it don't even have standing grease in there. I bought 80% lean the other day, and I made, I'm trying to think of what I made with it. I can't remember if I showed y'all or not. But boy, it had tons of grease that I had to pour off of it. If you're wondering how much I had to pay for this ground beef since the prices of beef are going up, I'll uh, look at that package for you guys and tell you. It's still sitting here on the counter. So we're just going to get this nice and browned and then we're going to start adding our other ingredients. This is one of my, this is one of Amy's very favorite dishes that I cook. Um, it is in the volume two cookbook, Texas hash with beans. And like I said, you can bake it. But if you want to, you can always put it together with some cooked rice like I'm going to do today to make it a quicker recipe or to keep from heating up the house in the summertime um, using the oven. It says this was $4.79 a pound. So that's not too bad, is it, y'all? I'll leave for you. I like it. All right. So... I don't see enough grease that I'm going to worry about anything being drained, okay? Now we're going to start putting it together. All right. I am going to put in some beef bouillon. Now today I'm using granules because I'm making a quick dish. And I am going to use a tablespoon because that's about how much is in the, the ones that are, uh, sorry, I gotta get a tablespoon. That's about how much that's in one of those square bouillon, I believe. So I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna add just a little bit of water. Half a cup is all that is. Now today I'm making a little bit more than I normally would. I have more beef in here. Uh, so I'm, I'm using a large can of tomatoes that are diced. If you use the regular recipe, you would only be using a 14 and a half ounce can. I'm using a 28 ounce can today because I'm serving a lot of people. We've had nine adults here for quite a few days and now we're down to eight. There's some pintos, and I drained the tops of them, but left some of it in the bottom. I didn't, like, dump them out and run water all over. I didn't dump them out and run water on all of them, because I figured some of that juice would be good. There's some uh, kidney beans. In the original recipe, you just use kidney beans and tomatoes, one can. But, like I said, we're making more today. Um, let me get me a spoon. I'm going to start mixing this up. Anything you see uh, that you want to buy, this is a brazier and it's a non-stick, so I never put it in my dishwasher, but anything you see that you want to buy, um, you can go on to www.coloredvalleycooks.com. You're going to find our personal channels on there, links to those. You're going to find our kitchen items. You're going to find, um, Lord, everything, our cookbooks, um, everything Colored Valley Cooks. And really, Chris and Tammy Nichols is on there because we do other things besides Colored Valley Cooks. I'm going to put some pepper on this, some salt. This is going to be good, y'all. And now we're going to put some rice in it. And I know I'm missing something. Let's see. We've got our onion, our pepper, our olive oil, our ground chuck. The water, the beef bouillon. Guess what we're missing, y'all? Chili powder. 
one tablespoon. So let's put that in there. Now I'm going to mix that up real good before I put my rice in there. Okay. people. I have been making dishes that feed a lot of people this week. Um, Alright, this is my rice that's already cooked. So I'll probably put about four cups in here. Now remember, my original recipe calls for one cup um, uncooked. But I'm going to put in about four cups of cooked rice. I'll let y'all see better. Y'all want to? Y'all like to see the food. Y'all like to see me too sometimes. I'll let y'all see me in a minute. We'll talk a minute before we go. So the good thing about this brazier is, see you don't want a lot of liquid in there, just enough to make it yummy. So we're gonna put some cheese in here. We're going to put a whole 8 ounce container of cheese, and I could probably put more since I've made more. So we may grab a little bit more out of the fridge to go in here, too. But I'm going to let it simmer with the lid on for a little while. And then when they come in off the boat, they're going to have Texas hash for lunch. Now, there's beans in it, there's tomatoes in it, there's cheese in it, which is dairy. You've got uh, rice in it. If you're real health fanatic, then use some brown rice. Um, it's got a lot of uh, fiber with the beans. Kidney beans have a lot of good fiber and protein. If you are a vegetarian, you could make this without the beef. I think it'd be really good without the beef, especially if you if you don't mind having the beef bouillon. You don't have to add the beef bouillon, but I think it makes it even better. Ooh, that looks good. Let's get a little bit more cheese, why don't we? I'm going to turn this around. Or just let y'all watch me get some cheese out the fridge. Now, I get a new refrigerator tomorrow, and I don't really know what kind of view you're about to have because Chris ain't here. But we get a new refrigerator tomorrow, and I'm excited. Um... We got a new microwave this week. All of our stuff's coming in uh, this week that we've ordered. Even Chris's fish and stuff. It takes a lot longer to get stuff now that COVID's around. Uh, stuff's just not instant like it used to be. All right, that's starting to want to stick. I got to turn this eye down. I got it up high. Y'all know me. I like to put on a high level. I'm going to put another handful in here since I made more of it. Oh, I gotta, I gotta scoop it over, it's getting too hot. Getting too hot, y'all. I'm gonna let this eye go down to simmer and then I'll put it back on it. You know how the cheese is, but the great thing about this brazier is it's non-stick and I can just rub it a little bit with a spoon and it's just as slick as a baby's butt. <laughs> slick as a baby's butt. All right. That looks good. I'm going to show it to y'all up close. It's really, really good. My kids love it and it feeds a lot of people. So, if you're wondering, um, let me flip this around so y'all can see me. If you're wondering what I've been feeding all these people this week, because normally I don't cook for a lot of people. Y'all know me, and my kids are not as crazy about my food as me and Chris are even. Uh, their friends like it, but they're so used to it. It's not that big of a deal to them anymore. Um, I made some roasted squash in the microwave today, in the new microwave, and I'll be posting that for y'all too. It's really good. I'll let y'all look at it since y'all are on here. 
See it? It's butter squash. It's got a real sweet flavor. Mm, it's really good. Um, that'll be coming this week. But this week I've been making stuff like we've had spaghetti. Um, we've had shrimp and grits. In the night I did shrimp and grits. I also did uh, the Alfredo sauce that's out of the cookbook. Both of those recipes are in our cookbooks. And that served a lot of people very little effort. Um, I've got the stuff to make chicken francais, and I know I'll probably say it wrong, but that's how I say it. I'm from Polk County, and that's how we say it. Chicken francais, and it's fried chicken uh, breasts with a lemon butter mushroom uh, topping. It's one of my very favorites in the world. I'm trying to figure out which side the camera's on so that I'm looking at y'all correctly. I'm so crazy. Where is it at? Oh, there it is. Now I can see y'all. Okay. Um, we're going to have that one night because you serve it over pasta and I'm going to have some Brussels with it. So that was a dish that would serve a lot of people with little effort. All I have to do is fry up the chicken and make some pasta. Um, and that mushroom uh, uh, gravy is so easy to make. Let's see what else do I have. I did the Texas hash. I'm going to do Mexican night. Um, what else did I have? Mexican night, Texas hash, those kind of meals, you know, the kind that your mama made because she had four or five kids running around and um, it was simple cooking and feeding a lot of people without breaking the bank, right? Uh, you take nine people out to eat and uh, that ticket really goes up pretty quick, don't it? Even just to get an ice cream or a milkshake. So who is visiting? Let's see what y'all are talking about. I can't remember, but the tool is around $5 from Rada. Rada. Um, if you're thinking about the thing that I'm cooking the uh, burgers with, it, everything's on my website. Y'all go take a look. It would be under utensils. It's a Pampered Chef item. Uh, Frenchy. She says chicken Frenchy. I guess that's how I'm supposed to say it. Um, who's visiting? My sister, her son that is 19, her son was cerebral palsy. He's totally dependent. He's 23. They have him out on the boat this morning. That's fun. Um, we we also have Keisha here. She's living here. So y'all know I've got three, uh, two 18-year-olds and a 19-year-old. We got Keisha, Amy, my daughter, and May, my daughter. And then Amy had another friend over named Gabby, and she just left yesterday. And May has a friend coming in this weekend. So our, our door is like a revolving door. If we had known uh, that we were going to have such, you know, company and that COVID was going to be around, because when we bought this house, it was before COVID. And so we were thinking a small house. This house is a little less than 1,600 square feet or around 1,600 square feet. And uh, really it's 1,500 without the room out there and it's not even the sunroom and it's not even conditioned okay but anyway i wish we had bought a bigger house now but we're not moving this place is already home to me we love it here um the meat chopper is five dollars and sixty cents on rada cut cut cutlery you can go to rada cutlery or you can help support colored valley cooks and buy it from my amazon links um we just get a very small portion from those but so many of you have started cooking and wanting the things that i use in the kitchen and you're being very kind to go in there because every little bit adds up uh say you spend most of the time it's i get around three to four percent and y'all don't have to pay extra for it but all those add up and it helps us when we get ready to send these three girls off to school this fall um, it is going in our savings account, and we are excited about that. We're also putting my sister and her son to work. Melissa has started working on Facebook, and her son is going to start helping us with cookbooks. Um, especially when Volume 3 comes out, it's just going to be crazy for me and Chris to do all of it. Because right now we do it, and it's really hard to get it all done uh, with us growing and everything. And so what better way to uh, keep it in the family, right? 
and put them to work. And uh, Melissa's always cleaned houses. Now she don't have to get out and do such labor when she's her age, because Melissa's the same. She's a year older than me. And then Joseph is just starting out and um, he's just gonna get his feet wet and be able to save a little money. So it's gonna help them both out. We're excited about that. I think my daddy is going to build them a house out on our family property, which is exciting. So they will be in Collard Valley. So Melissa and her kids will be in Collard Valley, but me and Chris will stay down here in St. Mary's. And a lot of y'all, my hair looks kind of frizzy. I actually fixed it today. Um, a lot of y'all probably are thinking, um, why I moved down here, I did it with my husband. I love my husband uh, so much, and he and I get along really well, and we love each other, and we have a lot of fun together, and uh, being down here, we can even have more fun out on the water, fishing and doing what we love to do. We can garden here, I can have a few chickens, which I've still got to get eventually, and I'm excited about that. I have talked and talked. If y'all have any questions, um, ask me a question while we're on here live today. I'm actually by myself this morning, which is a blessing. Um, I'm enjoying it. Um, so if y'all want to see the food one more time, I'll show it to you. Or why don't we just put some in a bowl? How's that? I mean, everything's done. So it's not like um, it's going to take a lot of effort. Let's we'll slide it back over here to warm. I've got it on low. And we'll get us a bite of it. I think I'll just put it in a little bowl for now, for y'all. But it's cheesy. Um, it is such a good, it's, it's almost like chili with, but not quite as strong with um, rice, kinda, and, it, and a lot of cheese. So, um, it's a kid favorite, I guarantee you. If you make this, if you have family, and you've got family coming over, and you're tired, and you don't want to spend a lot of time cooking, um, this is something that you can make them, and they're gonna be satisfied with it without a lot of effort, okay? I have not been making three meats, I mean, a meat and three vegetables because Melissa can cook just like I can. And with those that many kids to feed, we've just been doing easy stuff. Um, but I got to let this cool a second before I can take a bite. And hopefully they'll be walking in the door any minute, y'all. The ingredients, this is um, ground beef, bell peppers, or sweet peppers. I use three different colors. Uh, onion, chili powder, cheese, rice, salt, pepper, tomatoes, can of pintos, can of kidney beans. Mmm. Woo! And it's delicious, y'all. Just flat out delicious. Okay, I got a ton of food to feed everybody. Now I get to go relax. I hope you've enjoyed watching Colored Valley Cooks where we cook like Mama did. I love each and every one of y'all, and I do pray for y'all, believe it or not. Thank you so much for watching Colored Valley Cooks where we all cook like Mama did. Bye, y'all. Love ya.